Haskell is a strongly typed language and its type system is extremely powerful. In this session, we're going to focus on the aspects of Haskell that relate to polymorphism, uh, because polymorphism is really quite useful. We're going to look at ad hoc polymorphism and we're going to look at parametric polymorphism. The latter kind of polymorphism is something that Haskell has in common with many other functional programming languages. And um, most of the content of today has little to do with programming as such. We're mo mostly going to look at the foundations of uh, the type system that underlies Haskell. First, let's look at the precise learning goals for this session. After this session, the goals are that you should be able to understand ad hoc polymorphism and parametric polymorphism in Haskell and what's the difference between them. You should be able to informally find the types of expressions in Haskell that use polymorphism. You should understand how parametric polymorphism is captured by type rules for an applied lambda calculus, because what's underneath all of this is a version of the lambda calculus. You should be able to understand how ad hoc polymorphism, and here in particular type classes, can be captured by the type rules for an applied lambda calculus. And you should understand what type safety means in the light of the semantics of Haskell. What is it that the type system guarantees if we look at its relationship with the semantics? So these are the learning goals for this session. As I have just revealed, there are two kinds of polymorphism, and the distinction between the two kinds of polymorphism goes back to Christopher Strachey, who was an important figure in uh, the development of programming language theory, and in particular of programming language semantics. Strachey was the first to distinguish between two kinds of polymorphism, one called ad hoc polymorphism and another called parametric polymorphism. In ad hoc polymorphism, uh, a polymorphic function really stands for a collection of different implementations corresponding to different uses. So parametric polymorphism is really the same as overloading. Parametric polymorphism is a completely different beast. In parametric polymorphism, um, a polymorphic function is a general implementation with a general type. In Haskell, we have both kinds of polymorphism within the same type system, and um, dealing with this is quite interesting. Let's be more precise about what we mean uh, when we talk about these two kinds of polymorphism. Well, uh, let's have a look at ad hoc polymorphism first. And um, a simple example of ad hoc polymorphism is the one that we know from the treatment of numbers. Uh, an example is the expression 3 plus 4. Here plus stands for integer addition, and integer addition is a, is a function with type integer to integer to integer. But we could write uh, 3.0 plus 4.0, and 3 and 4 in the above were integers, but 3 and 4 uh, in the expression that we're looking at now are rational numbers. So plus now stands for addition of rational numbers, and that's a function with type fractional to fractional to fractional. Uh, these two addition functions are implemented completely differently. Uh, so in ad hoc polymorphism, we treat a family of differently implemented functions as the same function at the level of types. And the way this is captured in Haskell is by type classes. We're going to explain this in much greater detail later on. Now let's look at parametric polymorphism. And many of the good examples of parametric polymorphism the ones that are easy to, to explain involve lists. And here's a very simple example, and that's the example of the append function, the plus plus function that appends two lists. If we look at um, appending uh, the list one, two, three to the list four, five, six, well, um, that's really not uh, substantially different from uh, appending uh, the list true comma false to the list false comma false. They're both well defined. Um, if we look at the definition of the append function, we could define it by two clauses. The first one says that if we append uh, the empty list and uh, some some list, then that's just the latter list. If we append a list with head x and tail xs to another list ys, then we cons x onto the result of appending xs to ys. And this definition of append is completely independent of the actual element type of lists. Uh, so we see that uh, the append function has type 
A list to A list to A list for all element types A. So append is really a general function. It'll work for lists of any element type. So this is parametric polymorphism. We're talking about a, a general implementation um, instead of a collection of specific implementations. And Haskell captures parametric polymorphism using a variant of what's known as the Hindley-Milner-Damas type system.